Hi. Now, I'll just give you a few moments to pause the video if you'd like to give this a go, read the question, and then I'll shortly take you through the work solution. Okay, so for the first part here, B part one, explain why this answer is incorrect. That is theta equaling minus 26.6 degrees, why it doesn't satisfy this equation. Well, if you substitute minus 26.6 degrees in for cos theta on the left-hand side and substitute it into the right-hand side, you should find that it doesn't balance, that they're not equal to one another. So when you do the cosine then of minus 26.6 degrees, you find that you get a positive answer. And when you substitute it into the right hand side for two sine of minus 26.6 degrees, it turns out to be negative. And so the left hand side does not equal the right hand side. Now you don't really need a calculator to be able to do this because you could use the quadrant rule. And you should know that for a negative angle, you turn clockwise and the cosine for an angle in the fourth quadrant is always positive whereas a sine for an angle in the fourth quadrant is negative. If you're unfamiliar with the quadrant rule, do go back and uh, check out the link in the description for the quadrant rule, or you can just wait to the end where there'll be a link. Now for the second part, we've got to explain how this incorrect answer arose. Well, that's quite easy. It came about from squaring both sides of this equation. OK, it led to two positive values here if you square something and we end up with a situation like this where we've got a choice of values for theta. And as you see, one of them, the negative one, doesn't work. So we shouldn't square both sides. And that's summed up in this part here, that the error came from squaring both sides. Okay, so I hope that helps if there was any problems there.